How's it going? Dave from Comic Book Investments. So today I just got two Turtles number one first printings. And I thought this would be a perfect time to go through how to tell the difference between all the different printings and even a counterfeit because you don't want to end up getting a counterfeit printing and then you just get screwed out of a bunch of money. So that's what we're going to go through. We're going to go through all of them, a little history, things like that. So let's just jump into it. Let's get into the fifth printing. So this is the fifth printing right here. We're gonna work our way back. Now this one had a lower print run than the fourth printing actually. And so this one commands a higher dollar amount. It also has a completely different cover. It has splinter, it's red. It's way different than the rest of the turtles. So that's easy to spot. Uh, a 9.8 is gonna roughly run about uh, $1,500 currently. Next we got is the fourth printing. Now this one is kind of like Turtles number one, but it's just redrawn in color, so it looks different. You can easily spot this a mile away. This one had, a, had one of the highest print runs. This one was 60,000 of a print run, and this one will run you about 800 to $900 in a 9.8. So now here comes the tough part. We got Turtles number one, third printing, second printing, and of course, first printing. They all look identical. So I'm gonna go through how to tell the difference between each one. So the turtles, uh, the third printing of number one looks pretty much identical. And as you can tell, they are a different size. Turtles one is kind of more of a magazine size when the first through uh, third printings and then the fourth and fifth are more comic style. So you gotta make sure that they are more magazine. These, this is in a magazine bag and backer board. One way to easily tell between the third, second, and first is up here on the T of the turtles, there is a blood splatter. While in all the other printings, first and second, there's no blood splatter in the second T. The, so the middle T, there's gonna be a little bit of blood compared to the rest. Another easy way to tell is if you get this in, is you look on the inside cover and you will see third printing up at the top. Also another way to tell that it's third printing, only the third and second printing have this. On the back, they have logos for t-shirt iron-ons compared to the first printing, which has something different. Also, another thing to notice, this is actually harder to tell unless you have them in person, but each printing from first, second, to third gets less red and more pink. So remember that. So the first printing is super red, and then the second one is not so red, and the third one is pink. Hard to tell, but if you have them in person, you could easily tell the difference. So now we're on to the second printing. So how do you tell the difference between that? Well, on the inside cover, it's gonna say second printing. That's pretty obvious. And then once again, it's a lighter red and more of a pink than the, compared to the first printing. Also, again, on the inside back cover, it's gonna have a picture of those iron-on logos. Now, one thing to watch out for, there's been a comic book that's been passed around as like an ash can counterfeit comic book, and people have been selling it. I've seen them go for crazy prices on eBay because people don't know what to look for. If you have this book, The Turtles Ultimate Visual History, it's like, I don't know, 60 bucks on Amazon. In the back of it comes this comic. Now this comic, you can tell, is teeny tiny, very small compared to the turtles. But on the inside, it says second printing and it looks like kind of like an ash can thing going on. These are really easy to get, not that expensive. So make sure that you look at the size difference on them. And also it shouldn't have all these lines going through and look like you can see the paste up for the second printing. So this is not an ash can. This is just what comes in this little book here that you can get for like 50, 60 bucks. So this second printing in a 9A is gonna run you about 15 to $16,000 compared to the third printing will run you about five, six or $7,000 in a 9A. So next we got is the first printing. So this had a print run of 3,000. The second printing had 6,000 and the third printing had 36,000. A 9.8 of this will run you about a quarter of a million dollars. The easiest way to tell for this one is if you look on the inside, it will not say a print run anywhere. 
it's going to be blank. That's going to be meaning first print. Also on the back, inside cover, you're going to have a ad for gobbledygook one and two. Another thing you have to watch out for is sometimes people will take the second and third printing and then they will somehow bleach out or get rid of the ink that says it's second and third printing. So the first print run is pretty easy to tell once you see it um, and you get it in, you can just open it up and tell. But the hard part is, what if you get a counterfeit? So we're gonna go through to tell the difference between a counterfeit and the real deal. So the first thing to look for is look at the hashing on it. As you can tell, there's hashing in the pink and the red. And the easiest way to tell is if you look on the back of Shredder's fists, you can see that legit version, you can see a lot of pink and red in there. But on the counterfeit version, because there's lower quality of printing, it covers up that. So most of this finite hashing that's a little bit pink or a little bit red has been covered up with black. So you can look Shredder's fist on the back. That should be mostly black if it's the counterfeit, but you should be able to see it if it's not. You can also look at the turtle's feet in the background and also Shredder's fist in the, on the front cover. That is one way to tell. Also Donatello's staff. Just look and you can tell that it should be more pink and red on the legit version and the counterfeit is gonna be more black. A lot of times people will say, look up at the, the S and the sword and to see if there's you know separation between the, the red blood and the white. I've seen them on both counterfeit and legit. That's not a good way to tell. Uh, another way to tell is on the back inside cover, the gobbledygook number two will be cut off at the top of the corner because it was just misaligned. While on the legit version, there should be a little bit of a space, maybe an eighth or a quarter of an inch. Now, whoever counterfeited these went through great lengths because they're really, really good counterfeits. They would have to get a special printing press and have the legit somehow like have the master copies to be able to print these to make them look how they are. But they did leave a small handful of details to look for. Um, another detail is on the back cover, sometimes on the counterfeit, there's a bit of a smudge. Also the counterfeit is a little more pink like the third printing and a little less red. So if you get a turtle's number one first print, first thing you wanna look for is the hashing and see how much that's covered up. Then the next thing you want to look for is how is it deep red or is it more of a pink hue? Then you want to look at the inside back cover. Make sure it has the ad for the gobbledygook, but then make sure that the ad is not cut off. These counterfeits were printed back in the 80s, maybe even early 90s. So it's not like they're changing and they're like, oh, we made a mistake. Let's redo them. So the ones that are made are made. Sometimes they get past CGC back in the olden days. They didn't know what to look for. So some of you might have a cased first print and it could actually be like a third print, second print, or even a counterfeit. Also bonus time, these are gobbledygooks one and two. These were Kevin Eastman's personal copies. He verified them on this letter saying that these were his and they're legit. These have been counterfeited, but you can tell because they're printed on more of a yellowish looking if you see the real ones versus the counterfeit, instead of like white, it'll be like kind of a beige looking yellow. So it's really easy to spot. And I own the master printings, the gobbledygook one and two. So technically no one can ever make a new counterfeit of these if they wanted to get rid of that yellow tone other than me. So that should cover all your bases. Like I said, it's pretty easy once you have it in hand to tell the difference. But if you don't have anything to compare it to, just watch this video. Oh, there's tons of information online so you don't get scammed by accidentally buying either a second print when it's supposed to be a first print or you buy a counterfeit, even though the counterfeit is actually worth quite a bit of money. All right, have a good day.